Well, the California Golden Bears finished the regular season at 32 and 21 as Ryan Mason moves into a tie for second place in Cal history and victories, gets the win today, and also hands David Esker his 500th career win as the Cal coach. Along with Wes Clements, Roxy Bernstein with you. An 18-hit attack, and it started early with Brett Cumberland for Cal. Well, Brett said if there's any doubt on who's going to be the Pac-12 player of the year, uh, think again. He leaves a yard for his league-leading 16th home run. And the fourth, some more offense from Preston Grand Prix. Well, there was a deluge of hits, a plethora of hits for the Cal Bears today. They put 18 on the board, and everything seemed to go the right way. But this is a league conference leading Cal Bears batting average, and they were on display today. And then, of course, the senior, Mr. Mason. He wanted to finish his career for the Cal Bears, and he was absolutely sensational today, Rox. Went seven innings, giving up two runs on five hits, moved into seventh on Cal's all-time innings pitch list. And again, with the win, ties for second in Cal history and victories. The Bears finish at 14 and 16 in league play. But when the NCAA committee looks at Cal, you have to look at them very differently considering the injuries that they were dealt with this year, and they're fully healthy really for the first time all year, and they played terrific baseball here this weekend. Well, what do you do if you're the committee? 14 and 16, you see, and then you factor in the, fa the, the fact that Jeffries missed six starts. You assume that Jeffries would have won four out of those six. It's a no-brainer for me. So Cal finishes 14 and 16. Washington State's first season under Marty Lees comes to an end as well. 500 career victories for David Esker. Cal 11, Washington State 5.